For our Moment of Hope devotion, I thought I would share with you something that I read this week. I've always tried to read a proverb that corresponds to the day of the month. This past Monday was the 16th. And so I read Proverbs 16. It's a fabulous proverb. It contrasts the uh, wicked as a, against the righteous. But I came to a verse, verse 9, that when I read it, it caused me to stop and meditate a little bit or think about what this really means. Proverbs 16, 9 says, The mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Now, when you first read that, at least when I first read that, I thought, well, then I shouldn't plan. I should just listen for God, and when God speaks, I just do it. But after I meditated for a while, I, I realized that the proverb doesn't tell us not to plan. It does tell us to plan, that we ought to think about our lives and taking care of our kids and grandchildren and how we can plan for our church. There ought to be a vision. The Bible says without a vision, the people perish. And so the Proverbs not saying that we shouldn't plan. We ought to plan. I'm at an age where my wife and I are planning what's going to happen when we get older. And not that we're young and not that we're real old, but it's important to plan. It's important to save. It's important to uh, handle your your, um, your, your financial uh, things in a way that pleases God, in a way that provides for your family. And so when I meditated on this proverb, I realized we should plan. Yet as believers in a holy, sovereign God, we know that God can intervene any time in our life. He can interrupt them, us. He can inject himself into our lives. And so I, I think the writer of Proverbs here is telling us, plan, plan. Put your plans down on paper. Put a budget together. Live within that budget. Think about tomorrow. But remember, God directs the steps. And he's actually saying God directs the steps of a righteous man as opposed to a wicked man. And so while we plan and as we think about the future and, and all of that, just remember, our God is a sovereign God. And he has the right to interrupt. He has a right to inject himself into our plans anytime he desires. So we ought to be discerning. We ought to be thinking about and also reading the word of God so that we discern God's best for us as we make our plans. Let me read that verse again to you. The mind of man plans his way, but there's a contrast, but the Lord directs his steps. I don't know about you, but I think I'd rather have the direction of the Lord as I step through life than just rely on my own plans. I want God to inject himself. I want God to interrupt my life so that I fully follow him. And so I hope this proverb helps. I hope it encourages you. I would, I would uh, maybe uh, suggest that you read this entire proverb. It's an incredible proverb. And then you might set a goal that each day of the month you read a proverb that corresponds to the day of the month. Monday was the 16th. The word spoke to my heart. It'll do that. God bless you.